In this video, we're going to cover how to wire up trigger relays. Relays are basically switches that use power to turn them on. The diagram at the right may help you understand how they work so you can start using them in your builds. They're really helpful in controlling power easily once you have the basics. Let's go over the terminals and get some individual trigger, trigger circuits. Pins 86 and 85 are interchangeable, but to simplify things, we will assume 86 is always the 12 volt positive trigger source. 85 is always the ground trigger source. What this means is these two will need power and ground to trigger the relay. Either one can be the switch or the trigger. The path 30, 87, and 87A is how the switched part you use to turn on the remote device on and off flows through 30 to 87. What that means is the power flows either from 30 to 87 or from 87 to 30, but to keep things simple, we'll keep everything flowing in one direction. You can also have power or ground flow through that central circuit. So just remember the outsides are the triggers, the inside is the flow. Either power or ground can flow through the circuit again, and 87A is constant on. What that means is as the power flows on, it flows through to 87A and out to another source. Here you can also see that the 12 volt uh, uh, trigger on 86 is open. Use this circuit to turn a device off with the power or ground. You can see how the switch flipped to the 87 was power applied at right. So let's say you have something that uh, needs to be turned off at a certain point. Um, that's when you would use the switch. So you can see there's power on 86, ground on 85, and now there's no current flowing out of the 87A. The switch has flipped the 87, which is open. This isn't used very much, but in case you need it, this is one of those ones that uh, is kind of an oddball that's uh, kind of hard to figure out sometimes. So this is a pretty uh, common question we get all the time is how do I do a ground trigger relay? Let's say you need to turn on a lamp that requires 12 volts positive, but the trigger source is ground. It's easy enough. Remember that the center 30 to 87 circuit is the actual flow. 86 and 30 need power from the battery ignition or uh, accessory, something constant during the use of the device. 85 uses the ground to activate the switch. Note that the break in the circuit to show the ground is not active. The switch is open, not active on pin 87. So here you can see that uh, we basically have the power coming in at 86. Uh, we've just jumped it over to 30. You can have that as a separate wire as well. And right now there's no flow through the center. And you can see here on the ground, the ground has a break in it, which means that it's open, so the, the relay is not active. Activate the ground on pin 85, and now you can see how 12 volts power flows through uh, the central part uh, to trigger your device. Uh, okay, so we'll do a uh, 12 volt positive ground trigger relay. This is a pretty common question we get too. If you have something that requires a ground signal, uh, to activate, but you only have a power source to activate it, we're going to go through this. Same thing, but everything's flipped. So this is the exact opposite. Use this setup if you want to use a 12 volt positive signal to turn on a device that requires a ground to activate. Here you can see that 12 volt power is open, not connected, to the relay, so the 30 to 87 circuit is not active. So you can see how we've hooked up a, a ground to the 85, we've just jumped that over to the 30, and you can see how the switch uh, center portion has not flipped over to the out yet. By pow adding power to the 86, uh, what we've done is we've, op we've made the uh, relay open up in the center, which allows the ground to, to flow through the device. So just to wrap this up, remember that the central part of the relay is the path the preferred current flows through to activate your device. It can be power or ground. The outside terminals are the activation pins. Power and ground are all that are needed to turn the center section on. By having one of the outers constant and one switch, you can turn virtually anything on or off. 
And again, if you have any questions on this process or how to use it with our gauges, for example, to turn on a uh, indicator or activate one of the icons, uh, you can always uh, email us, service at newvintageusa.com. You can call us at 248-850-5482, or you can always get us on Facebook or Instagram Messenger, and we'll get right back with you. Thanks for watching.